It hurts. You may not know having nothing. Okay. Okay, I'll be quiet. Okay, I'm good. My name is Kevin Henry. I'm the cultural diversity coordinator for the city of Bellevue. By showing films that talk about various subjects, it really brings people together to start thinking about new ideas or getting rid of uh, preconceptions they might have had, stereotypes, that kind of thing. This is just the beginning of what I hope will become an ongoing kind of thirst for knowledge and interaction with other cultures and new ideas. The lesson that I've learned too many people know just to tell you, but they don't know how to follow through. All it takes is one really person to say, hey, I will be, I will be, I will be, I will be your witness. We didn't set out to make a film. We were really, um, you know, Angela was searching for her, for her birth parents, and we were going through all those steps, following leads, uh, going from Seattle to Chattanooga to meet people, look for people. And it wasn't until maybe after one trip and about a year into it that we kind of started a conversation, just us two, about, hey, what would this look like if we started to document this on camera? and possibly turn it into something that uh, we could share with the public um, as a lot of adoptees who are searching for their birth parents. Uh, they, might, they might find you know, a lot of similarities and a lot of comfort in hearing your story. So we just started dialoguing with each other about that first. For me, it was really scary. I um, initially just wanted Ryan to capture the beginning moments when I first saw my birth mom and I thought, for my own sake, it'd be nice to have this on film in case I never got to see her again. At least I could own some footage and I could watch it whenever I wanted. Um, but then as we kept going, we started talking about how this might help other people to, to understand adoption and to understand the feelings of needing to know your own roots. Um, and so Brian was really kind of encouraging this to happen and it took a lot of time for me to come around just because it is such a personal story and being so out there is not in my comfort zone. I'm really an introvert, and so that's been something that's been difficult to, to be okay with, but the, um, having it provide so much education and the ability for others to have conversations that I think are super important for adoptees everywhere has outweighed kind of the insecurities I had about being so public. Yeah, so now that the film is out, I really have enjoyed meeting other adoptees and other people who are in kind of my shoes and hearing other people say that they've always wanted to search, but they have felt bad because they thought it would hurt their adoptive parents' feelings. Um, and so I've really been able to speak with a lot of adoptees and to talk about how those things are so separate, how we can love our adoptive parents and have a desire to know what our birth parents, know where we came from. So for me, getting to be more... Uh, in contact with other adoptees has really boosted my own self-esteem, as difficult as it was to share with the public, which has been really rewarding. So after we screen the film and we talk to people, uh, people typically like to hang around and, and just like open up and share their stories. There's something about her story and all of the characters in her story, all of her family members, that it really triggers people, sometimes mostly in positive ways, but sometimes in negative ways. Um, people who haven't had successful search and reunions with relatives. Um, but, but one thing for sure at every screening that we go to, you know, people just come and they just like open up to us. The general sense is people feel like it's not just an adoption story, but it's a story about family and that they're able to see that, that support that my parents and my family showed to me in their willingness to take this trip across the country. And it just shows kind of like, this is how parents support their kids, regardless of if adoption is in, in the play or not. So Kyle, tell me about yourself, buddy. I am right now looking for my birth parents. Oh, you are? Oh. Yes, I am. So the inspiration was seeing the film, yes. I really enjoyed Angela's inspiration. We do have a blog um, that we probably put out a post like maybe every month or a month and a half, just a, kind of an update of what we're doing. 
with the film. So yeah, check out the website and all the stuff on there. And we also have a Facebook page and we try to update that with kind of current events within adoption, not just our film, but different um, pieces, kind of hot topics. There's been a lot in the media right now about transracial adoption.